Hello everyone and welcome to Learning with Jelly. Today we're going to practice uploading a SAS data set into SAS on demand for academics as well as a CSV file. And we're also going to work on establishing our own library. So for your courses, your teacher may have given you uh, some data and she wants you to upload it into SAS and do some work on that data. So we're gonna start at that first step and getting our data into SAS on demand for academics and then also being able to read it in in, a, in our own library. Now, if you missed the first tutorial that takes you through this interface, please look at my first video. It talks about how to save files, how to start a new program, how to look at the output, what each one of these um, tasks and utilities, snippets, libraries, et cetera, means on the left-hand side of the screen. And it just gets you oriented into the SAS On Demand for Academics interface. But for now, we're just gonna go through uploading the data. So the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the left-hand side of the screen. We're gonna make sure this server files and folders is expanded. And you see when you click here, you can create a new folder. So I like to put all of my course data into one folder into SAS On Demand for Academics. And I'm just gonna name that folder course data. Now, I expanded in my files, it's gonna automatically show me where this course data is sitting. So the next step is I'm going to click on course data and I'm going to click this upload to upload the data that I have downloaded on my computer. So in this case, I'm going to search for a SAS data set. In this case, oops, I don't want to look for an app. Let me just scroll down. And I have this blood pressure SAS data set. And I know that it's a SAS data set because it was downloaded as a .sas7bdat file. So I'm just gonna hit upload. And I see within my course data that the SAS data set has uploaded. Now, because it is already a SAS data set, we don't have to import it and do another step. So now I want to be able to read in this SAS data set as a library. So I'm going to do my lib name statement and I'm going to call this course that I'm actually going to call it this course for this example. And then I'm going to point it to my course data folder. So when I right click on this folder and hit properties, I can copy this location and put this in the parentheses, close it, and hit run. OK, so running these two lines should create a library called course in my libraries um, drop down on the left hand side of my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, click run. There are no errors, so I'm going to go to my libraries expand my libraries and now i see course and there is a data set so i can double click on the data set and i see that the data set has been imported into my library called course now if i wanted to call this data set right and say for instance i wanted to create a data set called test and i wanted to read from that data set i would do course.bp1 and then I would run. Now, in my other videos, we talk about work libraries, things of that nature, but this data set called test is gonna be stored in my temporary library called work. So now I'm gonna highlight this and run. And I see that if I expand my libraries, that test data set now appears in my work and my original blood pressure data set appears in my course library. I do it this way so that way I don't work on the original data set unless I'm 100% guaranteed that every change that I want to make on that data set 
is what I want to do, right? So feel free to create a temporary data set while you're coding. That way you don't change the original and you can always rewrite the original once you're done coding what you need to code. So for instance, say for instance, I wanted to rewrite that data set. I would just call it course.bp1 and it will overwrite my original data set, okay? But I don't want to do that in that case. So this is how we establish a library. We end up creating a folder, uploading the files from your computer to that folder, and creating a lib name statement where we call the name of our library and we point to this folder by right-clicking on it, hitting properties, and copy and pasting that link. Now, what if I wanted to import data that wasn't a SAS data set? So let me just do a comment, importing data that isn't a SAS data set. So for instance, it's a .csv file, a .txt file, whatever the case may be. I will go about it slightly different. So I'm still going to hit course data and I'm going to hit upload and I'm going to choose that file from my computer. And I'm going to say that. Let me find a .csv file that I have already. And say, for instance, I guess we can use this or cells. Yep, that looks like a good file to use. So I'm going to find my or cells. Oops. Let me scroll. Have a lot of files on here. I don't want to open it. Just take me to it. Take me to it. Here we go. All right. It has my, and then I'm just going to type in or cells here. Or cells. To it. Here we go. Great. So I'm going to open this up and hit upload. And then here that I see that it uploaded and I can tell that it's not a SAS data set because it doesn't have this table. You see this blue table next to my name. So I'm just going to click on this and hit import data. And it's going to give me some code down here that basically says, hey, you want to import data and you want to turn it into a SAS data set and it's a CSV. So I'm going to hit this run button and it's going to run that for me and then i'm going to exit out hit don't save and then when i expand my libraries this data is now in the work library called import and that is the or sales data so now i can say data or sales and i can read that data set that it made because i don't want to call it import because that's not descriptive enough and then I can run this data set. And in my libraries underneath work, I get my or cells. OK, so that is how we upload data into SAS, as well as assigning a lib name statement for a library that we want to create that's going to house all of our data. Now, when I save this program, all of this in my work library is going to go away. So if you want to work with your CSV file again, you need to make sure that you re-import it if you go back into SAS Studio or you save it to a permanent library, okay? So in this case, I can just save this to our course library. And then once I rerun this two lines of my lib name statement, I'm going to be able to see that import um, data set for my Orion sales. This is how we upload data into SAS. Please let me know if you have any questions. Take a look at the first initial videos in order to get you used to the SAS Studio interface. And that is all. Thank you for tuning in with Learning with Jelly.